Hello everybody. I'm gonna first off say that if you've seen any of Ben Rice's videos, I will shamelessly admit that after watching his videos, I am intentionally incorporating his style of videos into the ways that I like to commentate my videos. So I hope you enjoy. If you haven't checked out Ben Rice, I'll throw a link in the description box. But I think he has a great example of just good ways to commentate your workouts. And so I'm definitely drawn from him. And so if you see a pattern and think, oh, that's kind of like Ben Rice, what Ben Rice does, you're exactly on the money. So anyway, I've been squatting without a belt for the past couple of weeks. I'm coming off of kind of tweaking my right knee right under my patella. And so I've been taking it kind of easy. And I just wanted to get a good heavy single today without a belt. So this is a beltless PR. And I'll just let the footage continue. You can you can see for, for yourself how it goes. But I was just thinking today about when we were having a tough time or rough time in an area in life, how important it is to find joy in that time. And it's been a little rough figuring out school, work, work, relationships, family, friends. Figuring that all out this semester has definitely been a challenge for me. And I have not done well in a lot of those areas. And so my focus has been not only improving those, but finding my joy in the midst of knowing that I'm not doing very well in a lot of these areas. And so I'm encouraged because I know that if we find the joy in the times that are rough, that it just makes the good times even better. And our mentality can change a rough time to a good time. And so I'm looking at this as an opportunity for me to grow, for me to change as an individual, as a person, as a brother, as a boyfriend, as a friend, as a co-worker and I'm realizing that finding the joy in that really it's it's when we get to the good stuff in life and so that's been my experience these past these past few weeks as school has started work started I'm working a couple of jobs on campus doing school and everything else in there so it's been good it's been good it's been hard but it's been good I'm having some hard times in some of my classes, but it's just pushing me to just work harder, to just work harder. And I can't deny that that hard work won't bring the success that I'm looking for. And so God has definitely been the source for that joy for me. And I know that I couldn't have a sense of peace in the midst of it otherwise, while still realizing I just have a lot of work to do. But... That's how my past few weeks have been. And so today, I just wanted to get a good heavy single on the squat, the bench press, and the deadlift as I start my second cycle of the Texas method. And by cycle, I just mean six to eight week period. I'm just gonna call it a cycle. And so I wanted to get kind of a baseline for those numbers. And you'll see here, I believe this is 345. I get this up, it doesn't look too bad. Earlier, you saw the 300 squat without a belt, which is a beltless PR for me. The 215 bench, I wanted to not go too hard since I had taken it light in the gym the past couple weeks. And you'll see me here fail twice with 395. And I've hit 405 before, so it was a disappointment, but I'm not going to be discouraged by it. It's just going to push me to work harder. So I'm working with lighter numbers in my next cycle as far as starting out. Uh, I've lost a few pounds and I've stopped taking creatine. Reason being, I feel like I add around five pounds whenever I take creatine, and I'd rather be work hard to get that strong without having to add those five pounds. And so now that I'm thinking about competition-wise and for powerlifting, I just find that maybe for me creatine isn't worth the extra weight that I put on when taking it. And so. I, I like the idea of not relying on something to be a certain strength level. And so that's my experience with that. So I'm down a few pounds. I'm not sure what I'm weighing right now. 
but I'm gonna just build my strength. And in the midst of any any trials, I know I have I know I have my joy. So thank you so much for watching. You'll see here I had to settle for a 365 deadlift, which is painfully low. But I'm gonna get it even easier next time and my numbers are just gonna keep going up. I just wanna keep increasing my baseline strength. That's the goal. I'm really excited to compete. I'm looking to compete next month. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you guys for watching. Again, check out Ben Rice if you haven't already. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. God bless, and I'll see you next time. And stay hungry. And I'm out the lion's den.